Hi. My name is Nadim Kabesi, and for a year and five days now, I've been working on a project called CryptoCat, which is what I'll be talking about today. And so this is a conference about uh, the freedom to connect and digital liberties and things like that. And those things, I feel, in order for them to be encouraged or preserved, um, you need to make sure people can communicate with each other in a way that's uh, you know, private, safe. And this has been usually the prerogative of countries uh, uh, elsewhere, not in North America. Uh, with legislation that's being passed here and the, the legislative trend that's, uh, that, the, that North American states are adapting, um, it's becoming uh, more of a worldwide problem that you need to have uh, encrypted secure communications everywhere. So, and even if you travel to other countries and you teach journalists how to use encrypted instant messaging, um, and you spend days telling them like how to use it, they'll still go and use Facebook chat or Google chat, even if their lives depend on it. Because um, encrypted instant messaging applications so far have been designed by uh, academics, uh, people from, the, from various militaries, and they're not made for journalists or uh, human rights workers or students or hackers or developers, or well, maybe hackers actually, and developers, but uh, sorry, yeah. Um, but what I'm working on is a way to make this, uh, this sort of thing accessible, and that's, what uh, CryptoCat is, in slides, um, okay. Uh, so what CryptoCat tries to achieve is that you have uh, encrypted instant messaging between uh, you know, a group of people, not just two people. You can have up to, up to 10 people chatting at the same time. You can share images, files, um, and you have basically uh, privacy and encryption that is easy to use and readily, ready to access. It works in your browser, uh, in any operating system, uh, Instant access. Uh, you can install it in, in, into Google Chrome uh, as, a, as a Chrome app, into Firefox soon as a Firefox app, and we're also working on uh, Android and iOS versions uh, that are being deployed this summer. And so, what we found out of this is that uh, if you actually develop a instant messaging platform uh, that's you know easy to access, where you can just like send someone a link and then you're chatting with them securely, then people actually care. People will actually use it, uh, and not just uh, people who need to use it, but people who value privacy, which is a surprising bunch on the internet. And um, if, if you look at the user statistics, I mean, last month we had almost 28,000 people uh, using. That's just like the demonstration CryptoCat installation. Since the code is open source, uh, you can set up your own CryptoCat network, and uh, people will be able to access it through any web browser or any mobile phone. And it's meant to be uh, easily and instantly accessible. Um, and what we're working on right now, uh, the challenges that we're facing is that we need to make sure the code is delivered safely. Since it's, uh, you know, a part of it, a large part of it is browser-based uh, client-side encryption technology, uh, we need to make sure the browsers get the code safely, which is why um, I'm, uh, you know, there, there's, there's versions of CryptoCat that are local apps for Google Chrome and Firefox, because not developing the code safely to people in, you know, dangerous countries would be a catastrophe. Get it? Um, you know, nerds are known for lame jokes. Uh, and uh, we're also pre-reviewing uh, our cryptography techniques uh, so that we ensure people get their per privacy. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, um, so that, that, these are the challenges we're working on right now. And if you're a developer, if you're someone who I, I've gotten a bunch of awesome people. By the way, I'm really impressed by how many people here know Arabic. And uh, I got a bunch of people who work in uh, that part of the world. And I really want CryptoCat one day to be um, secure enough with 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 you know our, our crypto super peer reviewed. It's already peer reviewed, but we need more peer review. And we also need to have uh, local apps for all sorts of phones and and browsers and operating systems, and which is you know, pretty much almost done too, um, so that uh, we can deploy it anywhere, so that anyone can jump and use encrypted chatting with a group of people, so that you can send images and files to each other from your smartphone that are encrypted, as easy, if, as, easy as it is to use Facebook chat, and not more difficult with you know, sounds and desktop notifications and a cat and all those nice things that web applications tend to offer. And so uh, the code is open source. Um, it's all open source software. It's available right now on the Chrome App Store. Uh, we also have uh, the Chrome Web Store. We also have uh, project.crypto.cat, which is a website where you can actually watch a CryptoCat cartoon and uh, download uh, do documentation and uh, you know a whole bunch of stuff concerning the project. And I really suggest you check it out because it's really cool and it's what my entire life is about. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm totally worthless without this thing. Uh, so. 
I would really appreciate it. And I also want to extend my deepest thanks to be, uh, to have the opportunity to address such an exceptional crowd that represents a large part of the internet. It's, it's really an honor to be able to do so, and I really hope you'll check out my project. Thank you very much.